we're moving into a shin sequence. Standing on your mat, placing one foot in behind, your toes are reaching towards the back of your mat. From here, we're gonna let our foot fall slightly out to the side, so you have a little bit more weight towards the pinky toe. We're gonna be holding here for 20 seconds. So just letting your natural weight and gravity gently press your foot into the mat. You wanna be feeling a stretch towards the outside of your foot and maybe up the outside of the shin as well. All right, from here, we're gonna go right on the top of the foot. Weight is even. Try to tuck your tailbone under slightly and we're holding for 20 seconds. So increasing the stretch throughout the whole top of the foot and up through the shin as well. You may feel a bit of a stretch in your hip flexor, but again, our main focus is on the front of the foot and the shin. All right, from here, bringing it all the way over so you have more weight on the inside or the big toe there and we're holding for the final 20 seconds. Alrighty, just coming back up, we're gonna switch sides. Toes reaching for the back of the mat, rolling towards the pinky, the outside of the foot, and holding for the first 20 seconds. The more upright you are, the more weight that's gonna be on that back foot to increase the stretch, and the more weight you're putting in the front foot and leaning slightly forward will take some of the weight off. So just depending on how it feels, you can transfer your weight. All right, rolling your foot right on center there, tucking the tailbone under slightly and holding for 20 seconds. All right, and to finish off, rolling right onto that big toe towards the inside for the final 20 seconds. All right, time's up. Come back to center on your mat. We're moving into a chair down dog. So you want the seat facing you, hands just towards the end of it. They can be resting on top or gently on the sides, whatever works best. You're gonna take a few steps away so your arms are fully extended. You want your shoulders slightly pulled forward, feet are flat, sending your hips back, and then just dropping your head so it's in between your arms. Back is flat, chest is pressed forward. We're gonna be holding here for one minute. So right away, we're feeling a stretch in the back of the legs, the hamstrings. If they're really tight, feel free to soften your knees a little bit. You're also opening up in the, the shoulders as well as all along your back. As we're settling into the stretch, see if you can't reach back a little bit further with the hips, letting the chest relax down just a little bit more. Just watch that your head is staying in between your arms. All right, time's up. Slowly walk it up, release your hands and relax. We're moving into a seated ankle and shin stretch. So grabbing your chair, 
taking a seat, just make sure your both feet are able to be flat on the ground. So however far forward you need to sit from here, just taking your toes, relaxing them under, and you're gonna put slight pressure down, not with your hands, just with your leg, pressing down into the ground. You wanna feel stretched throughout the front of the foot, the top of the ankle, a little bit into the shin as well. Sitting up nice and tall, we're just gonna hold here for 45 seconds. So as much as you push down into the ground, it's gonna increase the stretch for you. All right, time's up on that side. We're gonna switch, relax the toes under, can gently push down using your leg, sitting tall and holding here for 45 seconds. So you might be feeling your hip flexor and your quad engaging a little bit as we're driving that leg down into the ground. All right, time's up. Go ahead and relax back on your chair. We're moving into a seated four with ankle rotations. So grabbing your chair, you'll take a seat, make sure sitting up nice and tall. One foot is planted, bringing the other ankle towards the knee. You wanna focus on the knee that is bent, pushing it down away from your body. Just relaxing your hand on it, taking the ball of the foot, and you're just gonna make rotations with the ankle one direction for the first 30 seconds. So chest should be nice and tall. We're not leaning back into the chair, belly buttons in. So focusing on the glute of the bent leg as you drive that knee down and away, and then just relaxing and stretching out the ankle. All right, go the other direction with that ankle, keeping the glute stretch. You're not pushing down on the knee, but actively using your leg to try to press it down away from your body to really get into the glute. All right, time's up, we're gonna switch sides. So getting into the stretch, one direction with the ankle for the first 30 seconds. Again, remember the posture, chest is nice and tall, slight tension between the shoulder blades. All right, go the other way. Final 30 seconds here. All right, time's up. 
Go ahead and relax your legs back down. We're moving into a kneeling calf release with a foam roller. So grabbing your foam roller, coming into a kneeling position, you're gonna place it as far up just as you can into the crease of your legs. Depending on the size of your foam roller comparison with your legs, you may just wanna do one at a time if it doesn't sit across both. So tucking it in, we're gonna slowly sit back and then place our hands in front of our body, leaning as much weight as what works for you back onto the foam roller. And we're just gonna hold here for 30 seconds. So your calves are just being pressed down with the foam roller, almost massaging them out in just that still position. The final 30 seconds here, we're just gonna ease off and then place it at the bottom of your calves, sitting back and holding for 30 seconds. All right, time's up. Release the foam roller and relax on your mat. We're moving into a straddle sequence. Seated, you're gonna bring your legs as wide as you can on your mat, toes facing up. You wanna feel the stretch into your inner thighs and your groin. From here, we're gonna rotate one off to one leg, rounding our spine as we're folding forward to really focus on that leg hamstring. We're holding here for 30 seconds. So really focusing on the hamstring, you're still gonna feel the groin. You're also gonna get into the back from letting it round as we stretch it out. All right, coming up, we're gonna go off to the other side, rounding the spine, folding forward for 30 seconds. Coming up, we're gonna go right to center. So tuck your chin to your chest, walking your hands forward, rounding your spine and holding for the final 30 seconds. Already walking those hands back up and coming to seated back on your mat. We're moving into half baby. Take a lie back on your mat. Soles of the feet are planted, knees are up. From here, we're gonna bring one leg up, flex the toes to the shin, reaching the same hand to the inner part or the inside of the foot, then relax your upper body back down. And we're gonna hold here for one minute. If this is too much of a stretch, you can't quite reach your foot, feel free to grab a strap instead. So letting your knee fall out here, opening up in the groin, you may also feel a bit of a stretch in the hamstring as well.
All right, go ahead and switch sides, grabbing the inside of the foot, relaxing back and holding for one minute. Keep those toes flexed towards the shin. All right, time's up, come back to center.